Hello everyone, this is the LEGO City 2018 Ambulance Helicopter set. It raises a big question for a lot of people. Why another helicopter from the LEGO City line? The answer is very simple. A lot of kids like their LEGO helicopters and ask their parents to buy LEGO helicopters. So, parents keep buying LEGO helicopters and thus LEGO keeps making more. It's kind of a part of their strategy to be a successful company and it's working so far. Now this Hilo is one of the larger builds to use this very common cockpit piece that's been on all sorts of helicopters and aircraft to date. Has a fairly long fuselage that actually has a good amount of space in it. I'll show you the interior in just a second. It has a twin engine configuration. You got the four blades here. Fan tail set up at the rear. A good amount of building around the back of it to smooth things out and to give it a tail that's Kind of thin relative to the overall size of the thing, which is good, but it's plenty sturdy. I mean, you can easily lift the whole thing up from back here, and you know, there's no worry about things starting to, to separate themselves apart. It has access from the sides, but it also has a door in the back that comes down as a ramp. That gives you plenty of space to put a person in there on a stretcher, and the stretcher is included. You're just going to slide them out. You see the person is fully laid down inside of there. And this has an interesting thing on the sides with these fold-down sections that allow a person to be attending the patient uh, from the side, or you, know, you can angle them out, have them facing forward or to the side, so they can be out there actually spotting and looking for someone who needs to be rescued or helping them to get loaded on uh, from the side or whatnot. You also have over here on the side a plasma bag that's set up and towards the front of the thing is a small clip which has a syringe and they use a sticker on the front bulkhead to indicate a life signs monitor. It's a shame there isn't enough headroom to accommodate an attendant inside the patient bay. They've got floor space for one, but just not enough vertical clearance. Over here you can see how the side seating platform can be folded out of the way. It can just be rotated up when you want. It can also be slid forward and back a bit. Also each side of the craft has a single extra clip there to hold on to a minifig accessory so that radio or walkie talkie is included. And on the other side if you're doing a rescue of a snowboarder well you can put their board there so you don't have to leave that behind. As usual, the cockpit is accessed by just removing the entire canopy, and this one is fairly simple. There are no control sticks, but they just have a printed console there for the single pilot. I like the prominent use of the Star of Life for those two figures on the left, because it's a fairly universally known thing, and I feel like it'll last a long time. These torsos will remain useful and will be able to be used across multiple generations of ambulance and medical related sub themes that lego would do as opposed to ones that are more specialized towards a specific coast guard style of logo or something that lego itself makes up at first i was a little bit surprised that the snowboarder over on the right does not get an alternate face you know a super distressed face like ouch i've really been hurt here but it makes sense given the helmet that they include for him, which would have shown a bit of that, uh, that secondary face at all times. So probably the best choice here to just stick with one so it looks good from all angles. Lastly, here's a look at the new stickers for the snowboard. I like the graphic design work that's been done here. So yeah, it's another LEGO helicopter toy made for kids, and I think it's done pretty well. I appreciate the ability to seat people on the outside, the clips for accessories and things, the little bits of detail on the interior, the good access to a full stretcher to fit a person in there. It really is a shame that you're not able to put an, an attendant on the inside of the thing fully, but this very simple system for the side step uh, is definitely very useful given that you can move it into many different positions. I like the graphics and the color scheme is very eye-catching. So there's nothing award-winning here for sure. It's just a fine toy in my opinion. And that's about all I have to say about it, so I will move on to the next thing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.